Walking from the staging area to Marsh Creek only takes a couple of minutes, but that's enough time to spot one of the preserve's California or beachy ground squirrels. Named after early 19th century British explorer Frederick William Beachy, they're common on the West Coast, with a range extending from Washington State to Baja, California. California ground squirrels are considered a keystone species because they lay a foundation of food and shelter for so many other animals. Hundreds of years ago, their flesh might have fed grizzly bears that denned in rugged areas like Round Valley and Morgan Territory. Today, they nourish golden eagles, northern harriers, prairie and peregrine falcons, and red-tailed and Swainson's hawks. And two or three feet below ground, they're sharing their burrows with reptiles, amphibians, other mammals, and even birds. You won't see ground squirrels when it's super hot or super cold. They stay inside. But on a pleasant day, they're likely to be your constant companions. Here's Seth Adams. The hero of Round Valley is a common beachy ground squirrel, little rodents with extensive tunnels, because dozens of other species of wildlife depend on them either to eat, eat them or more importantly, to share and enlarge their burrows to get out of the sun or to keep from drying up. So whether it's American badgers, San Joaquin kit fox, burrowing owls, rattlesnakes, red-legged frog, tiger salamanders, you get underground into a ground squirrel burrow and it's gonna stay more moist and the temperature is gonna stay much more constant because the threat here is from sun exposure and drying out. You may have already heard their high-pitched chirping. That's the alarm call of the ground squirrels, which have a completely different call for coyotes, hawks and eagles, and people. Somebody's always on duty, being a sentry, letting everybody else know if there's some kind of danger around. Uh, they also have a call for rattlesnakes. In areas with lots of rattlesnakes, most adult squirrels can handle a rattlesnake bite. Over hundreds of years, squirrels with resistance to rattlesnake venom have had a better chance of surviving and have passed that resistance onto their offspring. But adult squirrels in these areas still work hard to protect their young because even with resistance, their young, smaller bodies have a hard time neutralizing all the venom from an adult rattlesnake. At times, adult squirrels get surprisingly aggressive with snakes. If a burrow is threatened, a squirrel may throw sand in the snake's face or try to deflect it. The squirrel may also wave its tail in the air, one way for rattlesnakes and another way for gopher snakes. Keep in mind that gopher snakes are sight hunters, and rattlesnakes are sight and infrared hunters. When they see both snakes, they wave their tails behind them to look bigger. But when they see a rattlesnake, they actually pump blood into their tails to give themselves a bigger infrared signature. And how did that get figured out? <laughs> but it works. Decades ago, ground squirrels might have been harder to find around here. According to Robert Doyle, Most of Contra Costa was poisoned during the 40s, 50s, and 60s to get rid of the ground squirrel population because they wreaked havoc with farming. All those burrows and they'd hurt equipment, they'd get animals get their legs broken in them. The preserve doesn't allow poisoning now, and ground squirrels are alive and well, along with some of the species that depend on them, such as badgers. Thanks in part to Doyle's organization, the East Bay Regional Park District, things are actually getting better around here. People talk about the negative side of environmental things that happened that we have caused, but we've also turned the hands of time back to do a lot of things for restoration, preserving this incredible amount of open space the park district has, 112,000 acres preserved in the East Bay. Years ago, that was all threatened and so we've been able to have a lot of growth, a million people in Contra Costa County, but we've also preserved the best places that are really still quite pristine. From here, continue to stop three if you're headed up Hardy Canyon, or to stop five if you're headed directly into the valley. <laughs>